In the event where interest rates go up, um, there are two ways in which that can impact on your, um, on your monthly repayments. So depending on the size of the rate hike, um, if it's just uh, 50 basis points up or 100 basis points up, that would be proportional to the increase that you would um, expect on your monthly repayments. And the other factor that will go into that is the size of your repayment. So obviously uh, the size of your, of your repayment coupled with the particular rate hike will determine what your, um, your additional uh, contractual payment would, would be. It's always advisable um, to make sure that you have some level of contingency between 10 to 15 percent handy um, just in case you have multiple rate hikes um, over a short period of time. From a variable, from a fixed rate perspective, um, the other route to go is to actually fix your rate so you, you mitigate against the, um, the risk of multiple rate hikes, but you would be paying a premium for the privilege to fix that rate um, to ensure that your, your monthly repayments are not affected on a monthly basis on that. So, for example, if your rate was at 10% and uh, your monthly repayment were at 5,000 Rand, the impact of a 50 basis point um, increase to 10.5 would mean that you could be paying as much as an additional 500 Rand on top of your monthly 5,000 Rand um, commitment. So that will bring your total installments up to 5,500. So another good piece of advice is to pay a little bit more um, over and above your, your monthly required um, installment, say between 10 to 15 percent, because what that does is that it allows you the, uh, the flexibility of, of not having to increase or bother about multiple rate hikes um, up to a particular point. You also get the benefit of being able to suppress the interest charges on the capital owing on the place as well as those funds will always be available to you. So it's never lost to you. Those surplus funds will always be available for you to uh, draw against um, at a later stage.